welcome to the next part of this exercise. So, we've finally completed the design of this first frame and its connections. And thus, we may continue, and copy these components across the y-axis direction. And which of course, will permit us to complete the overall design of our structure. Nonetheless, and before we do so, let's first take a quick look at a very important subject, and which is as well related to the structural properties of the members in this frame. Or in this example, that pertaining to the analytical model of the structure. As an example, let's quickly create a new combination. Let's say, for the service limit state of the structure. And that will consider both, the dead load of the structure, and a live load case. And let's click on OK, to accept this configuration. Now and as we just mentioned, both these loads and their combinations, could be sent along with the structure, to Robot Structural Analysis Professional. But continuing with the analytical model area. We find as well this particular tool. Or that which will permit us to define the boundary conditions of the structure. Or basically the relations between the bars. As an